My name is Father Von der Rosa. I'm the pastor here at St. Patrick's in Pelham, and I'd like to welcome you here today for this uh, second part in our 100th anniversary of Fatima. Just to give a little bit of a background, um, we've been preparing for this for uh, quite a few months now, trying to figure out what we were going to do over the course of the year, and we wanted to make sure that as we were coming together we were reminded of what was the key message of Fatima. And so today is the anniversary, the hundredth anniversary of the second apparition of Fatima. And so it is also the feast of Saint Anthony. Now there's some arguments between the Italians and the Portuguese about what his name is. Um, the Italians and many others call him Saint Anthony of Padua. Um, but because he was born in Lisbon, um, the Portuguese call him St. Anthony of Lisbon. So uh, John Paul II settled that uh, debate uh, in a trip to Portugal when he said, He is not St. Anthony of Padua. And everyone cheered. He is not St. Anthony of Lisbon. He is St. Anthony of the whole world, and everybody cheered. And so we look to St. Anthony today, who was also the patron, feast, uh, patron saint of the people of Fatima, for that was their church. And so Lucia, is already, Lucia Jacinta and Francisco have already had that first apparition in May, on May 13th. And Lucia has been very much persecuted by her family. They, have, uh, they didn't believe her, and her mother really was just trying to do anything to make her say this was all just made up to stop talking about it. And so she's very much persecuted in coming and didn't want to come to the Kova again for the second apparition. But some interior thing drove her on and drew her there. I wonder who it was. But so she came and Our Lady appears. There's about 50 other people there, but Our Lady appears. And the first thing Lucia says is, what do you want of me? And Our Lady says, I want you to come back on the 13th of each month until October. I want you to pray the rosary each day for peace. And then she says to Lucia, I want you to learn how to read. Why does she need to learn how to read? Because she's going to have a mission. And she asks about if Our Lady is going to take them to heaven soon. And Our Lady says, yes, I will take Jacinta and Francisco soon. And she does. But you must stay here some time longer, till 2005, although she didn't tell her that. Jesus wishes to make use of you to make, to make me known and loved. He wants to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. And that's what Lucia did throughout the rest of her life. She became an apostle and a secretary of Our Lady. And Lucia asks about uh, if she'll be alone when the cousins go to heaven. She says, no, my daughter, are you suffering a great deal? Don't lose heart. I will never forsake you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge in the way that will lead you to God. And then Our Lady opens her hands and this immense light comes out and envelops them, as happened in the first apparition. And in this light, the children see themselves emerged in God. Jacinta and Francisco appear to be the part of light that was rising to heaven while Lucia was in the light spreading over all the earth. And then Lucia saw her heart the Immaculate Heart of Mary, surrounded and pierced with thorns from the offenses committed against her. These sins that need reparation, and the children were eager to offer it. This was the second apparition in, uh, in the series. And Our Lady came and says, Come to my heart, make reparation, show, my, show love. And tonight, we're coming to honor Our Lady. And so I'd like to invite Marie Thibodeau forward. <clears throat> Marie uh, is the one that was able to get us to be able to have uh, Susan Conroy here, so I wanted her to be able to introduce her. 